Hi and welcome to this new video and in this video we're going to be looking at using the location, rotation, scale and size UI up here on the left hand side of the screen. I'm going to be working in meters, obviously you can switch between meters and feet on here but I'm in the UK so I tend to work in meters because we're metric. So I'll be working in meters for this and People who have used the Velocity and Track Editor in the past will be familiar that this particular little dialog used to be down here somewhere in orange and you couldn't click on it and edit values in it and that kind of stuff. It was just purely informational and that has changed. So if we just put a gate here, I just put a gate on the screen and uh, let's just focus on that like so okay and I'm just gonna kind of get to this position here with it so we can see it nicely okay so here's our gate and at the moment it's on the ground at this location now the R the G and the B represent the red the green and the blue blue sorry blue blue to keep it nice and simple normally we in the past we referred to these as red was X, green was Y and blue was Z, but nobody really knew that. You had to that was information you had to know, it wasn't obvious. So we've moved away from that now and we use this red, green and blue notation up here. So that it's really obvious which axis you're working on and what's being shown up here. So for location if I grab the red arrow here and move you can see that it's updating my location on the red axis as I move this and if I grab the blue you can see it's updating the blue axis and if I grab the green you can see it updates the green axis so all very nice and simple Let's just put this back on the ground like that there we go reselect it Okay, so that's kind of the, the simple version of it. But let's say I want to put this gate in a very specific position. So I want it at 85 red and 80 blue, or minus 85 red, 80 blue. So you can now click on these up here and you can edit it like that. And that's now at minus 85 and this one I want at 80 like so and that's now at 85 80 now let's say I want to clone that so I can click clone now with clone it clones the object and then selects the new object that you created so I'm now going to place the clone object let's move it 10 meters away so I'm going to make this 75 like that hit enter and now if we zoom out a bit here we can see that this object is now exactly 10 meters away from that object in the x-axis so if you've got measurements for where your gates should be on a track and you want to lay out a track based on measurements you can now type the values in to the location field and it will do that for you Additionally, it will also work with the Z key. So if people remember the Z key from Velostrone 112, what the Z key does is it makes whatever object you've got currently selected be position 000 in the world. So I've currently got this object selected. If I press Z, you'll see it becomes 000. And this one over here, is minus 10 from it on the red axis so this allows you to work with some local coordinates so you're not looking at really weird world coordinates over here you can start from a known position of 000 just by hitting Z when this is selected and then space your objects from it to lay out your track typing in whatever you want to type in here you can also size objects so you can see here the size thing here and the scale thing here so if I change to the scale gizmo and I just size this on the red axis 
you'll see over here at the top here that it the scale here this isn't meters this is a a scale factor so this is 3.28 so if I was to change this to you know all the way up to 4 like that this is now twice as wide as it is high and wide it's basically what that's saying um, so these, these, these are just relative scale is always relative so if you if you double things so if I make this for as well like that you can now see that it's now twice the height and uh, twice the overall width but the width in the blue direction is is too narrow so I'd have to make this for as well in order for it to now look in relative scale so the so scaling is always relative but the size here is in meters so if I want a gate that is say two meters wide by 1.8 meters high with a thickness of say uh, 0.3 oops 0.3 let's just put that in 0.3 there we go so now this here is two meters wide 1.79 high and 0.3 and it's looking a bit weird so let's do that with it so now it's two meters wide one meter high and 0.3 meters on the blue axis you can see that say now a relatively small gate but I'm able to put in the absolutely specific size for this object now and know that it's that size and just type it in and you can do the same with rotation so normally you would you know rotate an object on this using the gizmo here and you can see the green axis up here is moving as I rotate this but if I want to rotate it say 90 degrees I can quite literally put in 90 and it will rotate it 90 degrees. Now it works very nicely on the green axis but unfortunately on the red axis you'll get a lot of things changing at once and that's because when you rotate on the red or the blue axis you're actually dealing with quaternions which is a a, uh, a way of dealing with angles without dealing with Euler angles where you can get a gimbal lock so that's the the technical side of it but the the downside of using quaternions is that when you move on when you rotate on the red or the blue axis it doesn't just rotate on that one axis it actually rotates on multiple axis and it all gets a little bit confusing but if you're just working with the green axis then it all it'll just work on that one you know you can just work on that one axis and that works quite nicely so it's uh, it's quite good for typing in if you're just rotating gates uh, and objects just on the green axis okay so that's location rotation scale and size and don't forget the use of the Z key that allows you to set an object as being location 000, so I can make this object here 000 by pressing Z, and then this object is minus 10 in the red direction away from it. Okay, so uh, that's it. That's what I wanted to cover here on this video. I guess that I probably ought to cover distance between objects as well, so if we select both of these objects like so it'll tell you the distance between them is 10 meters in the red so that distance there is 10 meters in the red uh, you can't type into here you can't set a distance just by typing in on this one this is just informational only okay so that's it and uh, I'll see you on the next video